Okay, I just wanted to upload, update this video on these monopoles just because I've had some people say, well, how do we know that's not just washers and you're just flipping them back and over because it looks kind of like a washer. So, here's a piece of metal. Not a washer. These are clearly magnets, 100%, without a doubt, magnets. There's some little magnets here too. These are magnets. 100% without a doubt magnets. Now, this is an artificial monopole magnet. Let me get it off this darn thing. 100% monopole magnet. But it's not real magnet or real monopole. These are magnets. Both of them. That's metal right here. Neodymium N42s. These are magnets. There is no real monopole. It's impossible with a magnet just because it is all about current flow and in order for the energy to be exerted out the north pole, you have to have a south pole drawing energy in. The force that you're feeling between these magnets, it's its not the magnet themselves making the power, it's the energy flowing through them. One side is flowing in, the other side is flowing out. It's like you get two north pole versus north pole and they oppose, they push away. South pole versus south pole, they compete for the flow. They're both pulling in and it creates a little uh, a field bubble in between and that's the cushion you feel that forces them away from each other. Whoops, see these are just a bunch of magnets over here too. But these ones aren't arranged the way up. But there's a certain way you gotta arrange them. They gotta be even numbers, and it's, it's gotta be, you know, in order to get that monopole effect, you gotta have even numbers. Once you get an odd number in there, then it disrupts the, the monopole type field. It isn't really a monopole magnet. There's no such thing as a monopole magnet. And anybody who says, oh, it's possible and it's uh, metaphysics and stuff like that. No, let's, let's just talk about quantum physics and the energy flow of photons traveling through based on the electron spin of the magnets. So, there it is. These are not washers. These are magnets. Neodymium N42s. 100%. Not a trick, it's very simple. It's just manipulating the fields by super gluing them together. That's all it is. Now, me and my partner, Sean Goldenstein, is uh, we're 3D printing today for our magnetic driven motor, which is just insanity. Um, we will be releasing it here soon. We're still looking to get investors and other stuff. We're just scratching by trying to get stuff done. We found a place. Um, here in town that helps to 3d print stuff for for entrepreneurs and stuff like that we're getting parts 3d printed today we've got a lot of our magnets ordered uh, i've built a few prototypes so far i'm not releasing the design until we get it patented just because you know what big oil could take the design and patent it underneath me and then anybody who ever tries to sell one of them will be sued and you go to prison they'd lock the design away the only way to protect it is with a patent so we will patent our design so we can release it to the world and um i've built a few prototypes it's instant there is no drag the whole problem with so many drives is that they have drag created by the accepting field on the opposing field to push or the opposing field drawing the energy around basically the accepting field the south pole is drawing the energy from the north pole and it creates a pull on the opposing magnet that's pushing it's actually the whole basis of what's wrong with magnetic driven motors and why they have no force, why they cannot be marketed as real energy devices because they eventually run down because that field over time, it continues to add more and more drag on that magnet and it's restricting energy flow through the magnets because it's redirecting the opposing push around to the other side and pulling on it. Even though the opposing push the pro is pro more proximal so your push is greater than the pull, over time, and it, it begins to, to not only weaken it, but also you don't get the torque. You don't get the horsepower. You don't get the RPMs that it will get by 
manipulating the fields properly and we actually utilize north and south pole on each and every single magnet uh, they're going to be much bigger than these but they we're going to make a little small one first and maybe put it in like a eighth scale rc buggy um, I'd like to put it in a helicopter or something, but I think that's going to be more something that we contract out to some other company later on. But for now, we're going to try to start out with either like a weed whacker or an RC buggy. Um, so we will hopefully be getting investors and stuff here soon. Right now, we're scratching by. We have one investor that's interested, but of course, he wants to see, you know, the, the, the one spinning. And there's one that we've made that will spin, but in order to get what we want out of it, we have to have the proper professional prototype for presentation. Otherwise, it, it, it's kind of a lost cause. So everything is about getting this. We're 3D printing today. We got half our magnets in. We got more on their way. Um, so anybody happen to know is an angel investor who wants to get involved and you know, we'd be glad to uh, discuss options for contracts and stuff. Um, that's eventually what we'll probably do. We don't plan to just manufacture. We plan to contract the design out to every single company in this world. Every company in this world will be able to use it for percentage percentage of how much, how much money they're going to be able to make. This way, it's not going to hurt any markets. We want to work with the grid. We want to work with the utility companies because they employ millions and millions of people. And worldwide, I mean, it's hundreds of millions of people. We aren't trying to screw with that. That has to be done a certain way in order for the market, the system, everything to accept this technology. So you guys will see it pretty soon, hopefully. We're just poor folk. <laughs> but uh, anyway... There's our magnet drive or magnet monopole here. It has nothing to do with the drive. Our drive does not use fake monopoles or anything like that. This is just something I've just been screwing around with on the side, and I wanted to share with people. So, thank you very much, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Artificial monopole, just by manipulating the fields. Thank you.